Warfarin has a number of interactions, not only with diet, over-the-counter medications, alternate medications and prescribed medications. Now, if you're taking a medication regularly, then the INR will already be measuring the effect of that drug. And so you should be stable. The trick comes when you're starting or stopping something. Now, not every medication, not every over-the-counter medication, not every alternate therapy is going to interfere with warfarin, but it, it, it's a complex list. <clears throat> and I actually think the safest thing to do is if you're starting something new, finishing something, or on a short course of treatment, maybe five days or seven days, you probably during that period should be having more frequent INRs. That way you can be sure that your INR is not being affected. And there's another element to that. I mean, if you need to be taking something new, or if you need to be taking a short course of something, chances are your body is not the same as it usually is anyway. And again, more frequent INRs is a safer thing to do during that time. Once you're through that period, the INR is stable, you can go back to your normal interval of two or three or four weeks that your doctor thinks is appropriate.